Don's got a box of goodies for Roy to test. With the kettle on, the guys have a look through the toys. Bear, crow, this looks like some kind of creature in distress. Wiggles about, and yeah, then so away we go. It's got a tail. Um, oh, that needs a... That's open, is it? Get your shave, Roy. <laughs> Dom leaves us to it and we head off after those foxes. Between the sunshine and the showers we want to make the most of the day. Farm number two gives us fox number one. From behind a plough he appears and Roy wastes no time. Time for a field Roy has been watching for a while, but he has only just got permission to shoot foxes on it. There has been a vixen and he thinks he spots her on the bank. We crawl to get a clear view. Roy calls her in. Another clean kill. And, to his surprise, it's yet another dog fox. We've had three dog foxes in this field in the last week and a half. And I was sure that was going to be a vixen out, to, out hunting at the moment, but... It's another dog fox, so uh, just goes to show how many there are about. That's a shame, we'll have to carry on for the vixen now. Roy has saved the best location until last. Lying on top of an old quarry, we get a fantastic view. We spot one under one of the large bushes, but it disappears before Roy can get a clean shot. Then another darts from below the cliff we're lying on. Roy squeaks it, but it accelerates to the far edge of the quarry. He stops and Roy takes a 220 yard shot and it looks great from way above the quarry on top of the quarry. We decide to fire up the new electronic call to see if we can entice the other fox out. We see movement and after a few minutes out pops fox number two and number four of the evening. Again, another great shot made all the more impressive by the location. All it needs now is for obedient Ian to descend to the cliff face and retrieve the foxes. The first one came out underneath us on the bottom of this bank here, um, but he'd, unfortunately, that one had centred us where we were on the top. He'd obviously come round behind us and our wind's blowing right down there, so he'd, he centred us and then took off like a scalded cat across the, uh, the opening of the, the quarry here. Um, and just stopped over in the distance there. He was just on 220. Um, luckily, I, I got a shot off on him, so he was down. Carried on squeaking, um, and it's amazing, even after a shot has gone off um, and echoing all the way around the quarry, you would have thought it would be finished, but then the other vix or the, the, uh, the other fox, I'm not sure if it was a vixen or a dog, came trotting out from behind the bushes, and it was very, very cautious, slowly working its way around uh, behind the bushes here. Wasn't quite sure if it wanted to come in or not. Um, and then just showed itself at the top there and uh, we got her as well. So four foxes in one evening, well, I think we'll call it quits on that.